to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and have a very good day. I think it's been for the last 15 years. We do the Pledge to the Flag every single morning, Monday through Friday at 8.30 and Saturday and Sunday at 9.30. Um, we do it just because we can do it. It's the right thing to do. Just a, a neat, fun thing. 90% of our customers are locals, but then, of course, we get a lot of tourists in, too. So a lot of people from the Naval Academy, the midshipmen, and their families, so it makes it real nice. We've been here since 1965. My parents, Chicken Ruth, started the store up. Kind of an institution, uh, people say, I, I think mainly because of my dad and my mom, uh, what they started up for traditions. Um, just a good family atmosphere. Chicken Ruth, to me, I know it was to my parents, uh, is basically like living the American dream. That's one of the reasons why we do the Pledge of the Flag every day. Um, it's a family business. Uh, it was replicated here. Our clients range from Microsoft uh, to Intel to MC Hammer. Uh, everything from uh, data, video, uh, music, games, uh, giveaway software, uh, pretty much anything that goes uh, and plays in a computer or a, or a DVD player. Well, we start out with uh, polycarbonate resin, pebbles of, of plastic, and we heat those, that plastic up to about 250 degrees. And uh, it's an injection molding process where we actually form the plastic into a, a disc and we inject plastic into a mold cavity with what's called a stamper. A stamper is a plate of nickel with the pits and lands, the digital ones and zeros, etched into, into the uh, platter. And we inject that plastic against that platter of, of pits and lands at about 60 tons of pressure that forms a disc. Uh, you'll see in the manufacturing process later that the disc comes out and it's clear. Uh, although it has the data on it, we then need to put a reflective surface on. Uh, we do that in what's called a sputtering process, where we place the, the clear disc into a vacuum chamber uh, with an ingot of aluminum, and we hit that vacuum chamber with some particles of argon, which excites the, the particles of alumina, aluminum onto the surface of the CD or DVD, which creates a reflective surface. And if you kind of understand how a CD or DVD player works, it uses a red laser to actually reflect those pits and lands off that reflective surface back to the reader. And uh, so that's the manufacturing process for compact discs. Uh, once we manufacture discs, then we print discs. It says in Genesis there's life-giving water flowing from the earth. They're talking about Chena Hot Springs. I mean, you feel like a young rooster after using the water out here. It just totally rejuvenates you. And right now, specifically, we're standing in a new greenhouse at Chena Hot Springs. And it's our goal to become the best farmer in the world in 10 years. And we're working with the University of Alaska to figure out how to grow in a controlled environment using no herbicides and no pesticides, all using all beneficial bugs. You'll notice the lettuce growing here. This lettuce was growing hydroponically. There's no herbicides, no pesticides, but you will see a ladybug every now and then. And it's doing its work. And now we have all the bugs are reproducing in here, so we, we, we are getting a balanced ecosystem here. The tomatoes off to our far left here, I call those happy plants. Look at how much fruit. Now all these tomatoes are looked after every day. We pollinate them by hand. So we're actually, uh, my parents, I'm from a family of 16 in a place called Peoria, Illinois, and they taught us to be proud to be worker bees. And now I'm doing the work of a bee. I'm out here doing pollinating, and you can see that it's, uh, it's pretty good work. And it uh, makes you feel pretty good. All the food that you eat here that has to do with salads or anything on the table is growing here. It's our goal to become as close to self-sufficient as we can be. This year, just yesterday, we dedicated the first geothermal power plant in the state of Alaska. It's the first geothermal power plant in the world to be making geothermal power to make electricity from 165 degree water. It will make the most significant contribution to power generation of anything in the 21st century. Why is it at Chena Hot Springs? Because we have the desire to do it. Why is the first one here? Because we wouldn't take no as an answer. No means maybe. No means maybe. When people tell me no, I'm going, hey, wow, that's great. Everything you see here is recycled. Think about it. This building we're in, two of them, recycled. All this stuff was destined to be thrown away. I took all the old stuff, put it with the new, 
and now we're making power. These lights that you see, they're on with all recycled goods. The greenhouse, the warmth and the feeling you felt in that greenhouse is coming from this turbine right here. And it's very simple. It's reverse engineered refrigeration equipment from Carrier. United Technologies owns Carrier. So it made it easy for them to get the material. And the reason this is gonna make such a significant contribution is because you can buy this cheaply. It's never been available before. And it's made in America. It's made in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is spinning 15,000 RPM, made in America. I come up here, I just wanna hug it. I mean, if this doesn't make you feel good, nothing will, besides being nice and warm. This is quality workmanship.